Good morning and happy Sunday mornings with Mel. It is the third weekend in January and this is the weekend that I would have left for bright and sunny Belize on my mission. But because of everything that's going on in our world, it's not happening. So to all of my friends in Belize, I wish you good greetings and as soon as I can get there, I will be there. I don't know if it'll be in 2021, but my heart is there. We have a lot going on in our country this week, and so I wanted to talk about, there's a verse in Psalms, and it says, Blessed is the nation whose God is the Lord, and the people whom he has chosen for his inheritance. We do live in the land of the free, and the home of the brave, and the land of plenty, and we have very little that we want. This week is um, the inauguration, and so I hope that everything goes peacefully, quietly, and that the transition of office goes well. I don't wanna make a political statement. I'm not making a political statement. I just want everybody to get along and be at peace. So I, um, there's a song I'm going to sing, and it starts out with a little bit of an intro as the storm clouds gather far across the sea. It was written during a time of war, and right now I don't believe that our biggest um, worry right now is across the sea. It's on this side. It's within. So I'm going to sing a song you all know, and it's called God bless America, land that I love. Stand beside her and guide her through the night with the light from above. From the mountains to the prairies to the oceans white with foam. God bless America, my home sweet home. There is no place like home. Dorothy said that in The Wizard of Oz. And one thing when I, when I went to Belize the first time on my nephew's begging and my sister's um, encouraging, I went and I tell everybody when I went there the first time, I really just wanted to check it off my list, been there, done that, did a mission, did a good humanitarian thing. I'm gonna do it once, once and for all, and I can say I did it. Well, that was about 12 years ago, and I can't imagine not being there. You think that you're going there and you think that you're gonna do so much good for somebody else, another country, a school, a church, but in reality, the person that it helps most is you, me. It does change you. So if you ever have the opportunity to go on a mission, whether it's humanitarian, religious, do it, do it, because it will change your life forever. If you can take, if you have a teenager, take them. If they ever feel sorry for themselves or think that they go without or have you know, they're neglected, take them. They will come home and kiss the ground that they um, live on. But um, I do want to sing an old hymn. It's probably one of my favorites. And that is, Holy, 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 Lord God Almighty, early in the morning, our song shall rise to thee. Only thou art holy, there is none beside thee, perfect in power and love and liberty. I think I combined three verses singing that but you get the idea. Those old hymns do so much for me and put me in a place of worship. 
I do love new music. I do new, like contemporary Christian music, but the old stuff tells me a story. It puts me, it puts my spirit and my heart in a good place. And with not being able to be in Belize this week, I think I need a little bit of that. I do wanna conclude with just the reminder that this week, if you pray, um, pray for our nation, pray for our country, pray for those in charge, those coming in, those going out. If praying's not your thing, put your good juju out there, your good vibes, whatever it is. I don't care, we all need to be doing something to get through everything we're going through with COVID. Still no residual effects from my um, vaccine. I am blessed and I hope everybody is doing good, being safe. And if you have nowhere to be at 10 o'clock this morning, St. John's United Church of Christ, 204 Leonard Street in South Amherst, whoever you are or wherever you are in life's journey, you are always welcome there. I will not be wearing my cutoff sleeveless hoodie. Um, it's the only one I own and I had to wear it because my heart is in San Ignacio and Santa Elena, Belize. San Pedro, it's a party town. This was on sale, that's why I got it. God bless you, have a good week and we'll see you next Sunday. Goodbye.